Hi, my name's Simon. I've been with Flat Magazine for about seven months now. Um, I'm, uh, I have a mental health condition and I've been at risk of homelessness now for about five or six months. Um, Flat's been great for me, helped me um, find some focus. Um, I've had about six or seven articles published in the magazine and that's been great. Um, also, it's helped me move on to get other sort of volunteering places to help improve my CV with chances of getting a job. Um, I really think that FLAC's been very beneficial for me because I've had to work with the editorial team with about 12 other people and I've come out of crisis and six months later I'm looking a lot better. So thank you very much. Hello, my name is Jude Evans and this is Curly Dog and I'm a member of um, a social enterprise called FLAC. Um, it's a multimedia project but I'm um, a member of the editorial team, I'm a writer and I feel very very passionately, passionately about this project because um, well four months ago I was living in a homeless hostel using heroin and crack, um, injecting um, and I met Kirsty Lavers one day and she said, oh, do you think you might like to write something for a, a little project I'm starting up called FLAC? And I went, um, um, yeah, well, I suppose to, I suppose that might be a nice thing to do. I wrote the article and the article was about meeting the actor Tom Hardy and I was so gratified by the whole experience, I started coming to meetings. Now, we've now produced seven pilot magazines that I believe are of really high quality but it's not just about the magazine our strap line more than a magazine it means an incredible amount to me because I've gone from addict to clean I've gone from having thrown myself in the dustbin to now believing in myself as a writer I am a writer I will be a writer um, but unfortunately we've just heard that the lottery will not be funding the money we need in order to kick in the business plan that we have all lined up and I'm deeply, deeply traumatised about this because if flat didn't exist oh, it would be an enormous blow to Cambridge, it would be an enormous blow to me the camaraderie, the confidence, the skills. Um, I don't know. People's creative ambition can be such a huge part of their recovery. And without this place, that wouldn't be happening. And I think that speaks for itself. So what's FLAC? Well, for me, uh, FLAC is uh, a place for people to be creative. It's a place for uh, people to feel motivated and um, to find places where uh, to give each other mutual support. And it's a place for people to build their confidence and um, to develop new skills, even if they don't even realise they've got skills. They actually get to learn what those skills are. And it's a place for people to find their feet um, and to realise what huge potential they have to go out into the world and be creative and um, just uh, take charge of their lives, really. Okay, that's it so far. <laughs> well, three years ago, I lost my job and um, I lost my house subsequently and I was on the street. Obviously, needless to say, go involve the wrong crowd, go into drugs, life went downhill and then I sort of sorted myself out and went to a hostel and to the hostel I met Kirsten and joined FLAC almost from the beginning. Now right now currently well I help FLAC with doing their statistics data entry and uh, making the new uh, pads and um, info, uh, starter pack for the new joiners. It, uh, by doing that, 
it reminded me how, that I, the skills that I forgot that I had, the passion I had, I forgot and being on the street and being the drugs, but being involved and able to do all these things again, which makes a difference and which are important, made me realize that, made me remember all the skills I had. I wouldn't have discovered certain things about myself if I didn't have flack to go to. Because when you go there and you get involved in something, it really brings out your own creativity. Just by looking at people whose life has been in dire conditions and you see something creative that you, they've done and you think like, oh my God. And then that makes you recognise the, the things you do and your contributions and the things you can do is good. It's buzzing, absolute buzzing with people, you know. I've seen people walk through that door and they have no confidence, no self-esteem. And I see people walk out the door with their head held high. And I, I see people who are encouraged to write articles and they, and they write about their souls, you know, and they feel safe here to do that. It wasn't through Flack helping me do my CV and upgrading it for me. I want to have the interview that I went for yesterday and all being well, if it goes well by the weekend, I should be starting work on Saturday for a shop on Mill Road called Cut Price Bicycles. Fantastic. So, so you yeah, got a job? I got a job. If all being well, I should have a job out of it. It's only part time, but it's a step, it's a step forward yeah. to getting permanent work. I've been lucky enough to be part of the FLAC team um, ever since it started and it has been amazing the progress that individual people have made. Every single person that has been part of the FLAC team has made so much progress in, in some way. Um, FLAC strapline more than a magazine is, is so true, it is more than a magazine. So many days I used to come to FLAC as a sanctuary to escape away from people in the streets who might tempt me with drugs or alcohol or whatever. And I used to just to come to FLAC as a sanctuary and come here, sometimes just sit here, just calm down, or just talk to somebody, talk to Kirsten, or do some work and get away from everything. I spent four or five hours. And that was one of the biggest things that helped me at, my, at the first stage of my recovery. I, I want to talk about a few things. One of them is... Um prejudices. I think everybody has an opinion about homeless people and about what a homeless person represents and what they actually need. Everybody thinks a homeless people doesn't have a house. Therefore, let's give them a house or a home and they'll be happy. But this is not all. It's, it's not only about the house. It's, it's about the person inside the house. It's about the person who wants to keep the house, who is going to be able to pay for it, who is going to be responsible enough to keep the house in a good condition and invite friends in the house. Giving people a house is just giving them a part of, a small part of what they need. It's, it's something material, like, like a pair of shoes or, or, I'm not sure, like food or a glass of water to a thirsty person. But we all know that it's better to show someone the well instead of just giving them a drink of water so they can take their drink again and again once they know how, where to find it. I feel as though I'm part of something. Um, and when, I'm, when I do something good or if I'm in a good mood, I want to go there and share it with the people there. Because rather than it just being the magazine, it's like, it's like a community. It's almost like a family, and I've met some brilliant people. I mean, over four years ago, I used to be a street drinker. Went to Cornwall, got sober, and came back to Cambridge to work for Flag as a volunteer. And there's not one second that I've regretted it. You know, I believe in Flag, and and everybody else believes in Flag. So, in a nutshell. Flag is unique and the philosophy of flag is unique and it can be shared with not just in Cambridge but London and other big cities. You know, and then there's one saying in flag that flag believes in people's potential and not necessarily their problems. 
and we, we stick to that. And Kirsten is, I've seen her work with people and the trust that she gets from people is amazing. So thank you for listening to me and I hope this, this helps. Okay, thank you, bye-bye. Oh, and finally, one more thing. Uh, I'm not a big fan of facial hair, never had any beard or mustache, anything like that. And if you're wondering, normally I look like this. But this time I'm growing this beard for charity for Flag, to raise some money for Flag, which he needs badly. And I'm gonna grow it, it's been a month now, and I plan to do it for three months, and persevere with it, stick to it, and raise as much money as possible for Flag and for the good cause. So thank you. Brilliant. You're a natural. Thank you. And I'd like to say thank you to you because you do a lot of errands. And, you yeah, know, if I say, I Darren, we I... need, need these magazines delivered, such and such. Yeah, I do deliver magazines as well for various places. I don't mind that. Um, and if we've got odd jobs around there, yeah, yeah, other places yeah, as well. I'd like to thank you. So I love. Thank you, Darren. Right. Let's go in, shall we? Yeah. I'll have a look at that after. <laughs> <laughs> Well done. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I won't keep back.